We got one or two goblin up here. Up on this far tree line. I'm walking in this super thick stuff. I've got the skin shoes on my head like way more aggressive than I should the first day of season. All right, everybody, um, it's about 7.30 right now. I got those two, there were three gobblers in there and uh, I feel like the GoPro mount. There were three gobblers in there and I'm pretty sure the two like subordinate gobblers were the ones that jumped across. But um, I had them at about probably, I doubt they're in the 30s, probably like 40. They weren't 50, I think they were, they were close, but the shell, I'm not, I'm not shooting a shell that's super tight pattern, so I didn't want to risk it. But, um, they jumped back across to the other property. I'm kind of hunting like a little 160 acres on the other side of the creek. So I'm going to run back to the big property that we were scouting last weekend. It's probably going to take me an hour to get back to where they are because they're not just in a field. They're in like a clover road that's behind a swamp. So I have to walk all the way down to the, from the, I'm parking at the east side of the property, walking all the way down to the west side, and then hitting that road. I think that's why I'm going to end up using that scoot and shoot forward, but you gotta, gotta love it. Open in the morning. I was nervous. I wasn't going to hear anything. And I get, get to where I wanted to listen and within like 30 seconds. I heard a gobble, so can't beat it.
breakfast of champions. I'm killing one today. All right, everybody. Uh, it is Sunday, April 3rd. Um, going back out here to try to get on these birds I got on yesterday. Um, I'm going to go in from a different side. Uh, if y'all remember, there was that creek that they had to cross. I'm going to come in on the other side of the creek. My problem is, is they're not roosting there. They're roosting about another 400 yards onto the other side of the creek, kind of where I was yesterday. So, um, let me turn this one. So there's a chance that we don't hear anything this morning. If that's the case, I'm just gonna run back over to the 160 and try to call, cause that's really the only fields around there, unless they're coming up through that bottom where we were. But, um, I plan on sticking it out, probably hunting until 2 or 3 today, so. We got a long, long day ahead of us, hopefully. Hopefully it ain't too long, hopefully we can get one right off the roost, but. This is more of an experiment hunt than anything, so. Let's get to it. 